it's a few days later and um, I'm doing an update on um, the Admotor M66 R7 e-bike uh, that I bought from Admotor uh, on their site online. Um, I'm going to show you right now. I had a slight problem with this bike. Um, it's a beautiful machine. However, uh, when I rode it a few miles, what happened was I discovered that these bolts that are holding on the sanchions, I think they're called, the bars for the um, front fork for the suspension, these bolts were very loose. As a matter of fact, one of them fell out and I put it back in, but I did not tighten it yet because um, I contacted AdMotor to um, and sent them a picture of this to show them what happened after I rode it a few miles, maybe about 16 miles. Um, they were not tightened. They did not say anything about it in the, in the um, manual when I read it about adjusting these forks in any way. So what they sent me back, they responded really quickly. That's one thing I have to say about them is that they responded really quickly. Oh, you can't really see that, but I'll read it to you. I sent them an email about this issue and sent them the picture. Um, and then um, they sent me back a reply saying that uh, they had not seen this problem before, but not to worry that this was going to be under warranty and that they would contact their technicians and and then get back to me and this is what I got it said um, this is the latest email it says thanks for waiting we just got a reply from the fork manufacturer uh, it just needs to be tightened with four screws in the front fork then you can solve the problem please check the attachment there are four screws on the clamp to the fork uh, we guess one screw was loose actually no all of the screws were loose every single one none of them were tightened um, resulting in three other screws uh, cannot fix the fork it is difficult to fix this problem would you please try thanks so please loosen the screws push the rod in place then tighten the two screws on the side use the same way to fix the other side also uh, I may I know that you have loosened these four screws when you assemble the bike because we quality check every bike after the production finish we want to know more to improve this matter um, probably the factory does some adjustment before packing result in what we did not find out this problem thanks for your information so it's worded kind of weird but I guess what they're trying to say is uh, did I loosen the screws? No, I did not. I did not touch the screws. I went by what they said in the manual, and all they said in the manual was to put the um, fork in uh, and put the front tire on, and they gave a, a demonstration video on YouTube on how to, to attach the front tire. I did all that. I actually rode it for a while, and it rode really great. I love the bike, actually. So I want you to know that I love this bike. I want to fix this problem, and I am very—I uh, appreciate that Ad Motor has gotten back to me so quickly. Um, however, they need to know that I never touch the screws. So now I'm going to attempt to do what they said to do, which is to loosen the screws. And actually, they're not—they're not screws; they're bolts. Um, on the picture they showed me, which I can't show you right now because the device I have isn't working real good. Um, just kind of set this down for a second. Um, the, 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 the picture of the fork that they sent me is not exactly the fork that I have. So hold on, I'm just trying to find the right Allen wrench here. That will work for this bike. I think it might be this one. Let's see. Nope, that's a little too small, so it must be this one. I They did send a little tool pack, but their allerances don't really work that great. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to go get the tool pack because it doesn't look like the set I have is going to fit. So, let's see. Let's try this one again. Oh, oh, that is the right size. Okay. So, here we go. 
first I'm going to loosen them. Loosen them to see if I can move that fork like they suggested, although I, it doesn't seem to be that easy to move. So here we go. So that's loose. Okay, here's another one down here. The one they showed me has the screws on the front of the fork or either on this side of the fork, but what I actually have are uh, these side bolts here. So, And I will send them this video to show them what I have done so that they know that I attempted to do their fix. So and then here on the other side, there's two more. Top, holds the top apparently and the bottom. Okay, so, not quite sure how I'm going to do this, but as you can see down here, there's a little mark right there. It looks like it should be kind of, this should be flush with that, kind of. I don't know what these little things are for, maybe to be able to move it. So that's loose. So now, all four of the bolts are loose. Now let's see how easy it's going to be. Let me see if I can figure out a way to, to set this up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we got that. Can I put that like that? Can we see? I want you to see me trying to move these forks. So, let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so you can see the forks. Okay. So, now, I'm going to attempt, let's see, make sure there's a, you can see both of those. Okay, so now, I'm going to attempt to take their suggestion and move these forks. I don't know. So. Yeah, they are not moving at all, so I'm not sure how they think this is supposed to fix it. I cannot move these with my strength, so. Yeah, they are not moving at all, as you can see. I'm pushing, I'm somewhat disabled, so this is not an easy thing to do. Um, I don't think that this fix is going to work. This will not move at all. Okay, so um, again, I'm attempting to do their fix. Screws are completely loose. I'm not holding this at all. Um, I'll take them completely out, I guess. If that if that works, I don't think it will though, because this thing is not going to budge. Okay, so that's completely. Not holding that. That's there's no that's not holding that. I'm just I'm just pulling them out. I don't want to pull them all the way out. I don't want to lose them. But they're not attached at all on the other side. So um, that fix that they sent me. I don't think it's going to work. There's no way that I can move these. They're very, very secure. They're not coming out. I'm very, I'm sad because I want to be writing. It's a nice day out here right now. And I would really like to be writing this. But that's just not going to happen. No, they don't move. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I don't want to break it. So I don't want to push too hard. But they're fixed, I don't think. You can't even move them. I mean, they're very, very secure in how they are. So, um, I don't believe that I'm going to be able to just do what they said. I can't see any other way that that could be movable. I mean, it just isn't going to move. Nope. Nope. I can't do it. That doesn't seem to have any effect on it. So, this is not going to work their fix. Um, that does not move. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten these back up for the moment because I do not want to lose these. 
but they were not even tight at all. And I checked them because, because I saw that the forks were doing this. So, um, and they were super loose. They were not tightened at all. I should have videoed it, but I didn't. I was, had been riding and I was kind of tired and I just took a picture of it. But, so, I actually did not touch these bolts until I noticed, obviously, that the forks had come out. There would be no reason for me to do that. Pretty much went by the manual. The manual said if you wanted any adjustments on your forks, that you need to contact the dealer and get a shock pump or whatever that is for. So that is so totally not going to work here. So I will send them this video, show them what I did, and show them that their fix did not work. In the meantime, I've paid nearly $2,000 for a bike that I can't ride right now not happy about that. So, just don't want to lose these. I don't want any more damage to happen, so tighten those up. Those are nice and tight. So, I will get back to them and get back to you with what happened on this. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, so here is the picture of the fork they sent me which is not the same fork that I have, although I guess it's comparable because you can see these have the screws right there and mine has the bolts, the Allen bolts in the side. So that's not even the same fork, but um, I'm going to try one more thing. Okay, so um, my roommate, I've loosened the bolts back up again and my roommate who is significantly stronger than me is going to try and push them down. So, um... The bolts are loosened, so let's see. I thought it felt the tiniest bit, hardly any. Yeah, it seems like the shocks are just. I uh, think the um, shock compressed. That's what it is. Uh, engaging. So my massive bulk will not move it. <laughs> so uh, my roommate, who's a fairly <laughs> strong dude, is and not. Heavy too. And not able to uh, push them down. It just seems like the suspension is engaging. It moved about an eighth of an inch and came back up. Like, yeah. There's something. Yeah. It must be a, it's a shock. valve or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So um, I will uh, send this video and contact uh, AdMotor again to hopefully fix this soon. Yeah, I bet that's the secret right there. You Probably think? you got to release some pressure from that thing there, I bet. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, the picture of the fork they sent me is not... Oh, I should probably check and see if that's tight. Yeah, that's not loose. It's just... I was thinking it may need to be loosened for it to push down yeah. and tightening, and that may be it, but I don't want to go screw Right, no, I, I and know. I don't want you to either. I bet. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so no. second attempt didn't work.